Hello and welcome back to part two. As you can see, I have completed uh, the rest of them. I also did this freehand one, kind of, uh, just to do something different. Um, haven't decided if going over the lines is a better idea than keeping them as single. But uh, yeah, so we have these four. Now, as we said, part two will be dedicated to finding the message that goes inside. So, let's uh, put these away. Let's go back to our book here. And the person, Basser Mon, man, does have some examples here that I kind of want to steal from. I'm basically taking a lot of these ideas from the... Uh, from the book here, but I did uh, I did do some research online too. I love the idea of cutting a word right through the middle, so that's something I want to potentially do. Um, but uh, kind of like the word in the middle type of thing that I like. But one thing I've seen online that I do like is I like the I like the uh, the look of like. Um, uh, for like print, uh, basically kind of like this, like print, cursive, cursive, and then some sort of print or cursive or print, cursive, print, cursive, uh, you know, that type of thing. I kind of like that idea. So maybe that's the first thing we'll work on. Uh, what it would look like if we did that, the measuring and things like that. Um, because, uh, like I said, it's something that uh, uh, I do like the way it looks, and I wouldn't mind uh, doing. So, oh yeah, there's this paper. Okay, so we go back here. Now, we know, we know that we have a border. And we know how much we have to work with. So we bust out the good old-fashioned... Oh, wait, I noticed this, but it's a German ruler. I have a German book. Uh, seems like we have a German theme going. So, uh, the, well, it's a pilot, so it's not true. All right. So, we know that basically the space we have to work with is almost eight inches. So, we're going to say seven and a half just to be on the safe side. And lengthwise, we have ten and a half. So, ten and a half by seven is what we're working with. So, okay. Um, okay, so we end up with our three versions of the card. So, First one we're going to do is we're going to do print cursive print. Reminds me of uh, uh, Nirvana's verse chorus verse. Um, great song. Okay, the other thing I said I liked is I like the idea of a word like cutting in through the middle so, so let's do that and the third one um we'll, we'll just figure it out okay all right so print cursive print so I am not going to be telling you what your message is. Uh, I want to just kind of work on what the look of it is. So in this case, we want it to look a certain way. So um, what do we have as far as measurements? Okay, so if I start here at the one inch mark and use one inch for the, uh, the print, two inches for the cursive, one inch for the print, Two inches for the cursive. That's not bad. That only gives us 
Um, I think I should, we should have more than just that though. I feel like, I think it'd be better if there's an odd number of them. So maybe we'll start at the half inch mark and we'll do print to print, cursive, print to print, cursive. That leaves us just enough for print again. Okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, how much space do we want to take up of the card? We have 10, so let's leave, what are we thinking, an inching, an inch out? Yeah, inch out is good. Okay. So what we're saying is we will have, all right, I need to do it on this side too. So inch, two inches, inch, two inches, inch, apparently right at the bottom. All right, so let's do some quick lines. And yes, for the record, definitely lines are a little bit off. But again, this is practice. This is for fun. Not too much work. Okay, so we have our print, cursive, print, cursive, print. And then we're saying that we're going to basically start at the inch mark, which again, we just want to measure out to see how it would look. And okay, so between here and here between here and basically at the bottom. All right. So we will want to basically say, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, so I've always so maybe a little bit to the right. And then we can do our big cursive. I've always liked. Hmm. We can do that maybe. When. Um. Regular print. So this means I should start a little bit to the left. Um, when it mixes, means I should start a little bit to the right. Uh, I've always liked it when it mixes with. Cursive, which means again, need to start this to the right, start this to the left, needs to start this to the right. This one's pretty much okay. And now that I look at it, yeah, it looks okay too. Okay, so that's not bad. Actually, that's not bad at all. I kind of like it. And what I'll do is I'll just use a black pen or marker here. I use a brush pen here to get some really nice strokes. And that should work. Uh -huh. Okay, now cutting the word in the middle here. Um, let's see here. Why don't we give ourselves two inches off the side? Two. Uh, just cut the word right in the middle. We'll cut the available space right in the middle. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm actually okay with this. <clears throat> so for this, so one thing that I noticed that is a lot of people have really good cursive. Mine is good enough, but a lot of people don't. So how does this become 
less fun is when you're trying or when you see something that's unattainable, right? So why don't we do just print? Everybody can do print. Everybody can do different types of uh, their own print. So what if we use this one just for print? So uh, maybe use this line here to here. This is why grid is really good or dotted. So we'll put words there. We'll put, uh, let's see here. So if we did, yeah, let's put words here to here. Okay, so ba ba ba. And you know what? Uh, why don't we put words here in the middle? Yeah, something that starts below there. Kind of like that. Um, so, what message do we want to put here? Uh, so, yeah, we want to be more practical here, right? We want to uh, make sure that anybody can do this. So, bold letters, uh, print letters. So the most basic bold print uh, and practical because anybody should be able to do it. You have, a, you have a ruler, you have a pencil, you have print, boom, you just have angles. So we are going to call this, we are going to say here, so you have Again, you have your regular letters. So be more, um, because I want to put words down here, we'll start here. And we are saying, be more practical. And it looks like we're running out of space. And this is why we practice. So I guess I will start uh, Closer to the bottom there. What's going on here? Why is my eraser not erasing? Okay, so we'll start. So we need a two more space letters, so probably here. And see, uh, sometimes when we plan for something, doesn't quite work out. So we could probably go a little bit more. So be more practical. Um, be more practical. You know what? End. Be a good place for an end. And then here. Uh, so these will want to bold up, right? So we're saying maybe not the whole letter. Yeah, yeah. I like this idea. Not the whole letter needs to be bold but potentially part of it so it stands out, so it looks cool. Uh, same with these. Now these you can probably, yeah, we'll do the same for these. And again, when we do the final version, we'll make sure spacing is a little better. Be more practical and... And... Uh, let's use regular print for this one. And I know I said I wanted to use this line, but again, once we actually... And... Be more practical and... Uh, concentrate on the, I want to put cursive here, but no, on the message. And I'll probably move this a little bit that way. So, uh, yeah, I think if we, 
Now these lines won't be here, but these should potentially be here. So maybe we'll bold these up right before it meets there. Maybe right afterwards. Same with this. Maybe we won't put anything there, but we'll put something here. And then here. Okay. Now the space looks a little empty though. So maybe something between these two. Um, and this little area here could use a little love. So put a little something there. This area is good. I mean, uh, I don't know. Just something to add to it. Um, yeah, but it could be this simple. You don't have to have great cursive. You don't have to have anything additional. Again, measure uh, and just put the right message, right? Uh, for here, let's stick to the same. Um, you know, I just thought of something that might look good here, actually. Maybe, maybe here we can, in the essence of this, maybe we can put a little bit, a little over here. Or something, you know? I don't know. Something there, though. I feel like something there should, wouldn't that would look nice. But it would probably be on something that doesn't have that on the corner. Anyway. I don't know, feeling something there, okay. So, the last one. So staying on the practical side, maybe we can, again, stick to print, stick to something that can be done, uh, but make it look a little cool. So, um, why don't we, why don't we, Okay, I got an idea. So, uh, you want the focus to be on something. So, you want letters to be strong towards the bottom or the center here. So, potentially, we'll, there'll be a line here, something that sticks out. I feel like something can go here. Not letters, though. Just uh, something. Then I feel like there should be a message here, here, between here and here, and then something here, but it can't just be straight, so maybe, maybe something, something, okay, all right, I got an idea. Um, what if we did a little curve like that, maybe a better curve like that, and because we want this to be, okay, so this is, this will be a more heartfelt message, so again, we're just going to use what we know how to do, so um, this message. Now, probably want to start a little bit to the left of this once I go to the final one. This message uh, comes from, and then really bold here. We'll want to do bold on both. So that this is what's going to pop to the eye. Boom, you know, that's your, and then something, like I said, at the bottom. So maybe some sort of, um, so I think uh, the center is going to be 
Go to the four and a half mark, right? It's probably in the center, so maybe we can put a little dot here and then something that leads to it. Uh, let's see what I just do here. You get the idea though, maybe something like that. That doesn't actually look bad. Okay. All right. So again, you don't have to have cursive. You just kind of have to put ideas in a certain way. And again, again, the message is there. Um, and we'll go from there. Although, so after doing these four, we have to decide which one goes where. But then I was thinking, what about a message inside one where there is no border? So say you don't want to go through the border. Um, but you want to still put a message in. The easiest way I can think of is uh, a banner. Banners are always good. I love doing banners inside of things because easy to do. Um, and honestly, most banners look exactly, can look exactly the same. But if you're looking for a banner to fill an entire card, you'll probably want something simple and big. All right, let's see here. So, okay, so banner usually, okay, so if I want most of the message to be in the banner, I'm actually gonna Give myself a little bit of space. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna freehand this one. Okay. So let's see. Banner. I'll probably start. Um give myself a little space there. Okay. Uh let's start here. Uh, and that'll go down and up. So maybe down one square and up two. That's not bad. And then the message, that's big enough for a message. And again, we go down and then up two. And it seems like I might have gone a little bit too much, so maybe we'll go here. Okay. Uh, let's close off our banner. Uh, let's see, what are we doing here? Boom. Boom, connect them, connect them. Easy banner, right? So message goes here. I wouldn't mind doing some print here and some print here. So for example, um, one of those motivational ones. Do great things and for great i actually would want to do a different type of font and there is a font that i've been working on that i like maybe i'll put a little line here just so that it stands out uh there is a font that i've been working on that i kind of dig okay This is my own font, so please feel free to steal it. Do great things. That tease a little off because I feel like I was trying to. I'll fix that on post. Okay. Uh, but yeah, maybe you can just take a blank one and do that on it. That's actually not a bad idea. Okay, cool. So let's pick one that we want to actually... Let's pick one that we actually want to do. Um, I kind of like this one to do. So let's do that, and we just need to pick the 
we probably maybe this or maybe this I'm thinking let's go with this and if I measured correctly everything should be within the lines right yep all right let's make this happen okay so measuring we said we have Seven. Well, this one never makes it takes a whole inch long, so I definitely measured six and a half. Can we still fit it under six and a half? Yeah, it's kind of close. Basically, means we'd have to start right from the top. Well, these aren't taking the. Okay, so we'll give it. All right. So let's give ourselves an inch up here for the first text. All right. We need to cut this down the middle, we said, at two inches, so maybe, and I mean, let's stick to that and see what it looks like. Okay, so, I know I have to be somewhere here, so, like we said, we want to do a Bold letter ish. So. Okay, kind of like actually that the eye came out like that, almost like it's being dotted, and then we can cut this R a little bit too. All right, so be more practical. Um, and then we want to throw in a little bit of this, and we'll want to probably give ourselves some lines to work with. So, not gonna measure, just gonna wing it. And concentrate. Oh, let's see, so before I'm starting this off, Okay, and oh yeah, we need the message here, which is, let's see, what are we doing here? Hmm. Yeah, all right. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that, actually. Not my favorite move here. Let me go back to what I had, which was... Okay, cool. All right, so we have this. Now let's uh, ink it up. And we'll fast forward this. There you go. Um, oh, forgot the, the T. Maybe that's where the R looked okay. Okay. All right, be more practical and concentrate on the message. Uh, this can be anything, really, any message. Let's, uh, let's do another one. Let's do the blank one next with the, let's do the blank one with the, um, or is it where to put it? Oh, yeah, let's do this one next. Okay, so besides my eraser starting to fall apart, um, Probably going to want to go over this with a darker marker, maybe. Uh, just so that I can make it a little better. Um, let me do one more card and um, show you that and we'll call it a day. And there you go. Did another one. Um, yeah, it looks cool. Maybe I would have moved it up a little. Uh, again, this is just a practice. This was a lot of fun to do. Um... 
Uh, this one, there's more I would do to it, but it just, now yeah, it's simple enough. I think maybe this might have been too big on the outside of the, but I get the, the banner, but at the same time, it, it looks just fine. I mean, it's fun. It's a nice message to send somebody. Um, and I hope that you got some ideas from this that potentially this motivates you, that makes you want to do something like this. I don't know, but uh, I hope that this was as fun to watch as it was for me to actually do. Uh, again, thank you for watching part two of making these great motivational positive cards for people we know, coworkers, or uh, friends, or even family members. I mean, I think this one actually should be family. It should say something like, you're amazing, well, uh, yeah, you're amazing, or you're beautiful, or something like that. So maybe I'll, uh, I'll close with, uh, with that.